So let's find these following permutations. So we want to take a permutation of seven objects taken three at a time. So if we use the permutation formula, um, p of seven taken three at a time is equal to, so in the numerator of your fraction goes the first number, seven factorial, and then in the denominator you take their difference, seven minus three factorial. So this ends up being seven factorial over four factorial. And then at this point, we want to write out this product. So this is seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. All of this divided by four times three times two times one. Now, if you want to simplify this, you can see that we can actually take all of these numbers, four times three times two times one, and all of these numbers, and they will end up actually reducing out to be one. Um, and so now all we have left in the numerator is seven times six times five. So that's six times five. So this is equal to seven times six times five. Six times five is 30. 30 times seven is 210. So the permutation of seven taken three at a time, seven objects taken three at a time is 210. Uh, so let's take a look at this second one, the permutation of six, six objects taken one at a time. So this is in the numerator, we have six factorial, and then in the denominator, it's six minus one factorial. So we end up with six factorial over five factorial, and then write out your product. So it's six times five times four times three times two times one all of this divided by five times four times three times two times one. So similarly, like we had here, we have this group here, five times four times three times two times one in both our numerator and denominator. So those end up canceling and we just end up with six. So there's six different ways to take six objects one at a time.